Let's talk about some of the golf we've seen, specifically Shen Shen Feng, her performance this week, so fantastic. We saw what Seirei Pak did for golf in South Korea. Could Shen Shen be a real catalyst for golf in China at this point? For sure. I mean, she took a, a huge first step winning, you know, the bronze at the Rio Olympics. And I, I was down there and got to know her. And she's just a delight. I mean, she's just very naturally funny and self-deprecating. And the players on tour love her. And I think this has been a great chance for the world at large to really discover her. So she's already made a ton of fans. But certainly if she can win, you know that's going to be a big deal in China for grooming the next generation of players to come over here and win this tournament and also to win Olympic gold. So there's no doubt she can be a very important figure in the development of the women's game. And Michael, she wears cow print and just gets away with it, looking great, and she yeah. loves it. Yeah, she's fun, and but I mean, she also really, not to make this political, but of course, one of Trump's uh, siren calls uh, for his presidency is America first, but we've seen in women's golf for 20 years now that it's not America first. And really, this is just another illustration when you look at the whole leaderboard, obviously they're training a different way overseas than they are in the United States, and it's showing up in the leaderboard here. It's a global game, and we've gotten away from the point of like, oh, there's only one American, it so happens there is, there's only one American in the top 10 going to this last round. But the, the fact is, uh, we accept the fact that these great women golfers and men golfers as well come from all over the world and the game is better for it.